In Iran, based on the constitution of the Islamic Republic, the city and village councils are the main custodians of government decentralization. However, this has been a controversial subject beyond the typical reformist principalist argument in Iranian politics. Despite the fact that the constitution defines elected councils as the decision-making and administrative organs of the country, the first official order authorizing the local elections was only issued in 1998. That was after President Khatami's election. When the first reform government ratified the 1998 decree, elected city or village councils were created in all of the country with the purpose of governing municipalities. Since then, local councillors have been elected every four years via direct elections. Among their many functions and responsibilities, local councils elect mayors, including the mayor of a big city such as Tehran, where about 20% of the country's population lives. Tehran municipality is one of the wealthiest entities in the country, and the power and budget at the disposal of the Tehran mayor is equal to that at the disposal of a minister and his ministry, respectively. In this election special, we'll be looking at local councils, their functions and importance and elections. So for that, stay with me, Leila Faramazi on Iran Today. Although on paper the councils were established to take care of cities and villages' social issues, they also got involved in political matters from the early years, especially in big cities like Tehran. The main political parties in Iran, the principalists and reformists, have always proposed lists of their candidates in all the past elections. Some believe that the cause of these councils getting so involved in politics is their main purpose, which is selecting a mayor. Since the mayor has considerable power at his disposal, political factions tend to influence local council members' decisions. Ahmad Hakimipur explains. He was MP and head of Tehran City Council's reformist faction. <laughs> After all, compared to municipalities, city councils are lacking in their experience and structure. The municipalities have always had a stable and firm structure, enabling them to have an upper hand over city councils, turning the table on the city councils. This means that instead of councils monitoring municipalities, the latter instructs the former as to what to do. The councils pass the municipality's budget. The councils must instruct municipalities on how to spend and earn their income. Aside from electing mayors, the councils are in charge of supervising the activities of municipalities. The planning and coordination of national agenda in the implementation of social, economic, constructive, cultural, educational and other welfare affairs. For a plan to be approved in the city and village councils, first the representatives will go over it, then discuss and vote on it among themselves. If the plan is approved, then it will go to the city governor's office. The governors are appointed by the administration and have some important responsibilities. The governor is responsible for going over the approved plans to make sure they abide by the constitution and other laws and regulations. The plan will then make its way back to the councils after the governor's final approval. The municipalities are then required to execute the plan. There's more to be said of council elections than council's clout. It's fortunate Iran's local elections have been more fruitful than planned. The councils have provided an opportunity for Iranian women's involvement in the political process and decision-making. There has been a steady increase in the number of women who registered and were elected in the city and village council elections since its inauguration in 1998. In Sistan and Baluchestan province, the most underdeveloped and poorest of Iran's 31 provinces, 415 women were elected in 2017, well over double the number of women elected in previous elections and far more than other provinces in the country. 
This has been a very positive development for the increased participation and presence of women in the labor force and shaping the future. In fact, it can in turn pave the way for more women to win parliamentary seats and key positions in government. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see a woman president of Iran. Look, anyone can become a city council member. It's not prohibited by law. But how they're being elected into the councils is what matters. As I said before, different camps must come forward in the competitive atmosphere and introduce their candidates. And because they've introduced them, they must give assurances that the candidates are fit for the job. We have many candidates that run alone. These candidates aren't aware of the teamwork culture and the system of councils. Therefore, after getting elected, they start to act individually. That's what spoils the councils. Elections for the sixth term of city and village councils in Iran will be held in 1,372 cities and 40,620 villages and among nomadic tribes on June the 18th, on the same day as the presidential election. Members of parliament are responsible for overseeing council elections. The complexity of Iranian domestic political processes has shaped competitiveness in factionalist politics since 1979. This complexity includes city and village councils as well. As in similar contexts, important issues in Iranian politics always seem to come down to conflicts about who is legitimate to participate in the political process. However, beyond these factional politics, we can take a closer look at other insights on local political dynamics. According to data released by the Ministry of Interior, in this round of city and village elections, 297,000 people in total have registered to run. 246,000 for village councils and all the rest, that's 51,000 for city councils. In Tehran, 2,292 individuals have been approved for 21 seats. Of those who registered, 7% were women and 71% were below 50 years of age, a sign of young participation. We can say that the local elections have eventually been quite competitive in the past. Results have usually been very close and power has changed hands in many local councils. This competition is due to the fact that a greater diversity of candidates than what is present on the national stage have been allowed to access the local political arena. The councils are being firmly established in the Islamic Republic's structure. Considering the variety of work across different levels of council work, the bodies have been able to make impressive progress in detecting everyday problems people face in cities and villages, as well as understanding fundamental issues in urban management. They have been successful in proposing plans and practical solutions. The main function of the councils has been advancing the culture of demands based on results within legal frameworks and according to what's available at the moment, and extending supervision to a social scale. This is a significant achievement and the most important requirement for promoting the model of a responsible citizen and the culture of urban living in our country. It can be concluded local elections should be looked at beyond the principalist reformist factional conflicts. In other words, decentralization processes in Iran reveal that Iranian politics is more complex and nuanced than a classic black and white battle of democratic versus authoritarian assumption. همه سرگرم انتخابات ریاست جمهوری هستند انتخابات شوراها در مدیریت شهر و روستا و زندگی شهر و روستا تاثیر خیلی زیادی داره و اون رو فراموش نشه ان شاء الله That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching from the whole team. Do tune in again at the same time tomorrow as we'll be covering the general election process then. Bye for now.